I came out here just to do a little milling and pilling and decided just to crank a few things up and try to get stuff planted. I done went out this morning, uh, been been out all day yesterday and day before and uh, picking up parts and stuff like that. And I went to the parts store this morning to get the other half of this dish blade for this real so take the 86 and get it, get it warmed up and jump it off, get it warmed up. That way I can change the oil. See, on. I got the jumper cables hooked up. Right there. I'm just gonna let it let it be running for a minute or two, and then I'm gonna run over here to this this uh, 81. Let it be running, and I got the pump for the 46 right here. You see my finger right here. It's getting a little bit. It's getting a little better. Yes, I went out, went as far, went out and bought some gloves. So I do have that for most people who are talking about me on the channel that I ain't got no glue. <laughs> so I got the blade for this one that I'm gonna put on, they got my truck back there. They got my blade on. for this side right here. I got two of them for this side. And I need two more. Well, this show is muddy. <laughs> Can't wait till this shop get here. And I need two more right here. But I need to take that hood right there off. And I need to go to parts though. That way I can uh put a hub on that right there and then finish the putting bearings in on that on that side and then we pretty much we pretty much got it from there so let's get in here and crank this tractor <clears throat> i gotta get another seat I, that, that's gonna be in another video but let's see what kind of cold start we're gonna have Okay, I'm gonna have to go down here and prime it. Well, I ain't gonna prime it just yet. Take two. Take two, cranking. Well, that didn't get it. Let's try take three. Here we go. See if we can get us a whole cold start here. It don't take three. If it don't do nothing now, I'm gonna prime it. It's a lie! It's a lie! Six thirty, there, y'all. I ain't much of a cold start like everybody else. Uh, so I'm gonna let the eighty six thirty run a little bit, and we're gonna get out here and change this oil. Uh, so it looks like it's been running for about. 20 minutes so far, so Brr. let me go ahead and find me a couple buckets and find me a wrench. Let's get at it. Hopefully, I can get that filter off. I ain't got no band wrench or nothing, but we're mad. Now, we're gonna go out and get my buckets and stuff together. All right, it should be over 30 minutes by now, so let's just cut this track off. Let's see if we can get some oil changing here, buddy. All right. That's where your drain plug is, right there. Open the cap up, pull the disc up, give him a little air. Busters.
Sorry about most of these videos. I'm so careful with my hand. I go the first bucket right there. And I got the other one in there. A tip, do not try this at home. Only professionals only. Only if you know what you're doing. I ain't got no bad wrench. I did this right here. Let me get a little closer. One hand, boy, I tell you. Back it up. Professionals only. Driving in the bucket. And I take my cap there. Snug it a little bit. Get the fuel filters as well. And take those off. All right, now I got the, the filter. I got the two fuel filters, which goes right here. And I got the oil filter, which goes right there. That oil filter part number. You have 8630 with the 50 series engine. And there go the fear filter part number if you had the 50 series engine. That's how you do that, hand tight, fresh oil. There we go. I need a two hands. So we got a fill filter here, fill filter there, oil filter there. Here's my old ones. I don't think they look. Well, it's got a little water in it. Maybe a little trash. Oh yeah, she got a little water, huh? Evidently, you must be running clear diesel. I noticed that a lot of folks is running clear diesel. Uh, I've been buying red. Link down in the comment. Does it run better just buying clear diesel, or is it just, or you just buy red? I don't know what the difference is. All right, let's go and get some oil. Here go my oil. This is what I run, and it's called for six gallons. That's what it's calling for, the motor oil. So we're going to get that in the tractor. We're going to hurry up before the sun go down. <sighs> Whew. All right, now that I, I got the motor oil in i got one two three four five six i got six in that's from that bucket over there i'm not worried about it here all right that's tight oh lord drain plug in that crap two new filters and the oil filter so now the only thing it is Need to do is get up here and start priming and fill that filter back up. Uh. Now we got that going. I got it primed up. I'm just dusting my feet off. Before I get in the tractor, I don't want to get it muddy. Uh, let's get up in here and crank it. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Good to me. Well, like I got a little bit more throttle response, throttle response. Let's get out here and check the oil. Let's see where she's at. Sucker run good with them fuel filters. I ain't, I ain't gonna sit there and ride either. Six gallons, all she gave me. 
I'm thirsty. I'm just gonna put these in a bucket. So that's gonna be the end of the video right here. I'm just gonna go on in this video. I ain't too much of nothing. So now we got the fuel filter, we got the oil filter, we changed the oil. We got six quarts, I mean, not six quarts, but we got six gallons uh, of the John Deere Plus. And wait on another video. Uh, we gotta do the transmission too. Oh, uh, that will be another day. Uh, I can't do that until I get my hand fixed. So, like I said, y'all be sure to like, share, subscribe to the way you sound. Here we value our land, number one. Peace.